Hey everybody! So, today I'm going to be doing Vicky Vibes because you guys have wanted this for like ever. So I thought that I'd do one because um, I've done one in a really long time. Today I'm going to be trying some new products out so I'll let you know how I like them as well as talking about some things. Um, I wanted to kind of clear the air um, and computer can you not make noises while I'm trying to follow a video? I got because I know a lot of people probably have been wondering why I haven't been making Vicky Vibes videos and all of that. So I kind of wanted to give a little bit of explanation, just a tiny bit, before I bounce right into the actual talking part of the video. And I'm using, actually I'm going to be using Tarte products in this video. I usually don't wear um, makeup that i never worn before, but I want to try this out. So this is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless perfecting primer and I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried any Tarte products before so this is exciting. All of their products are like paraben free and good for you and good for your skin and stuff so we'll see how they work out. Let's go. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I was at a point where I really wasn't comfortable doing a Vicky Vibes video unless you guys gave me a specific topic to talk about and so I, that's why I did the Q&A, but most of the Q&A questions were about marriage and things like that. So I wasn't like, I was like, I'm not going to do that by myself. I'm going to do that with Cameron. So I did that one with Cameron and that turned out really good. And I'm glad that you guys liked it. You know, when I first got all the questions for the Vicky Vibes video, I was at a place where I was not ready to talk about some things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and I'm excited about this but I'm going to mix it. I'm going to mix it with my favorite foundation which happens to be my Calvin Klein uh, CK1 and I'm going to mix that with a pump of that. The reason that I hadn't been, um, yep, that's really light, but it's okay because we're going to fix it. I'm a private person and I don't really like to talk about my private life. I never want it to be like me venting, like me like airing out my dirty laundry. I never want it to be that, like ever. And so I mentioned on a, um, I think it was a vlog that I went through a slump. You know, I had like a little, a little moment where I just wasn't happy. Um, sometimes it's Aunt Flo visiting or sometimes it actually is something that's going on that I'm not happy about and I'm a girl so of course I'm gonna feel things that's just normal and it took me a while to get there and to realize gee I actually have feelings but I can't ignore my feelings okay so it's not like every day when I make a video I'm gonna be happy. There was a particular moment where I think people could tell that something was up. Just know that every relationship no matter who it is with your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad, your best friend, your sister, your cousin, that every relationship has its issues and it's flawed. No, nobody has a perfect relationship with anyone. I promise you, we all go through stuff. And so people, you know, they kind of see, you know, maybe they'll notice some things and then they'll ask questions. I did get a lot of questions and I always get a lot of questions about um, since now I'm, now I'm married, have my relationships, my friends changed? Is it awkward to talk to single people now? Is it awkward to um, hang out with my friends now? Like all that stuff. I'm not giving you any examples and people always ask questions in the comments and stuff about best friends from previous videos where we've, you know, been with each other on camera and stuff and they're like, are you guys still friends? What happened with you guys? It seems like you guys aren't friends anymore, whatever. I'm not gonna talk about our relationship. That's our business, you know? We talk to each other, we're cordial with each other. We're fine. There's a little bump here and there, but what relationship doesn't have that, you know? So if you, if you felt like we weren't friends at some point, it may have been that she was going through something and needed to work it out or that I was going through something and I needed to work it out. It's not that I'm saying that it's none of you guys' business, but it's not really you guys' business. <laughs> Only because I can't come on here and just talk to you guys about all the issues that I have with other people, especially when she watches my videos. That's dumb. Everybody has issues, so can we work them out or not? Yeah, stop asking in her comments why we're not this and why we're not that. Just, just leave it alone, guys. It ain't even nothing for y'all to be worried about. In a previous Vicky Vibes video, I did mention that I've had a lot of bad friendships in my life like I've pretty much been a floater if that makes sense in elementary school and in high school 
And even in college, I never had a group of friends that were all friends with each other, that we all hung out together all the time. Like, like people that if you saw them, you saw me. You know what I mean? I would always float around. I never had a specific group of people that I like just grew up with and that's that's it like we're, we're a team you know i'm friendly with everybody i'm cordial with everybody but i don't have people who i can run to and say i trust these people with my life you know what i mean i don't really have strong friendships like that so this is the maracuja creaseless concealer by tarte so yeah and that's not to slight anybody and say that they sucked as friends but i just i've never gotten close enough to people to where to where I can say oh yeah like oh, like I, that's my squat you know I never had a squat I never had a squat I just feel like you know at some point you didn't have a squad you know honestly being realistic you're gonna go through life and you're gonna meet so many temporary people I'm not saying that you'll never have like a group of friends or whatever that will stick with you to the end some people are lucky enough to grow up with a huge group of people that they're always with and that's they posse and I I don't have that testimony. I'm I'm a loner. I don't I don't have a squat. Me dealing with bad friendships and relationships was always just to move on to somebody else. Um like if somebody upset me or they weren't being like you know nice to me or whatever. I was never really the person to be like I'll fight you because you talked about me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm used to not really fitting in. That's never really been an issue for me to deal with because I've known what it's like to float around all the time. I went to two different elementary schools and I switched churches probably every every other year, every two, three years. Um, so I've never been used to being around the same people all the time. So it was it's easy for me to to be the outsider and it's easier for me to kind of just bounce around and switch friends every now and then. Do I like it? No. So when it comes to bad friendships or bad relationships, I've been known to drop them very quickly. In all honesty, when, you're, when you grow up, you can't just cut people off that make you mad. Because at some point in life, you're going to have to learn how to deal with people that make you upset. As a community, of people you have to realize that no two people are the same even if you're twins with somebody they're not the same person as you so their differences the things that y'all disagree on that's gonna be with anybody okay and if I haven't learned anything from being married it's that you have to learn how to deal with people that you don't get along with and that you you know may disagree with that's just life in general like you can't run from everybody who makes you uncomfortable. You know, there's a there's something about being around people who aren't like you that helps you grow. I'm not saying to be friends with people that suck. There's a difference between cutting people off and just being a baby about it, you know? You can't run from everyone who disappoints you because people are going to disappoint you. Just don't trust them with everything you have. If you have bad friendships or relationships, just stop giving them so much of your your power you know like don't give power to people who hurt you most people disagree with me on this all the time but i'm gonna say it anyway you give the power to people to either make or break you so if you have an issue with someone and they make you mad all the time that's your problem not them okay when somebody does something to you that makes you mad or they you feel like you're being attacked by people it's not personal. You can't take it personal. You can't take, you really can't take anything that people do personal because a lot of times the problem is never other people. When somebody has a problem, like when, they, when they're when they upset about something and they lash out on other people, they're just acting out a feeling that they have about a situation that happened to them or somebody that hurt them, you know? Like everybody has their own reasoning for the way that they act towards other people. Um, and that's what I've had to learn is that when people treat me wrong or people don't live up to my expectations, I can't take that personal. A lot of times it's not my fault um, as to why they're acting that way towards me. That's how I look at it. I don't look at it as if somebody gets mad at me, oh, you know, um, they're crazy and I can't be friends with them. Well, if somebody gets mad at me, I need to figure out what I did 
and why they felt that way. Because a lot of times it's something that they're dealing with each internally that they need to work out. That's how I deal with bad friendships or relationships. I try to help people. And if my helping is only making things worse, then I'm done helping. And I'll just, I'll pray for you and move on. But I don't have time to try and help people who don't want to be helped. Know when it's your time to back off. Not all friendships are going to last forever. Um, and even if they do last forever, they're not going to be the same forever. So at some point, they're going to change. You know, we all have to grow. So eventually things will be different and it's kind of just a matter of learning how to deal with the change, not so much trying to fight the change and stop it from happening. Going into marriage, I knew my relationships were going to change because I was going to move and I wasn't going to be close to all my other friends and I knew I would have to make new friends which I've been doing my whole life, making new friends and trying to move on. Like, <laughs> that's my whole life, basically. It, I, like, I, I won't say it's awkward, but it is, it's very different now with my old friends back home, like when I go and see them and stuff. It's just different, like it's not the same. Things that, you know, we had in common aren't really the same anymore. Like when you get married, like the way that you look at the world changes, the way that you your priorities change and not to say that it's a bad difference it's just different and it's just something to get used to it's not even just my friends though like all of my relationships changed when i got married like my parents and my aunts and uncles and my brothers everything like everything just looks and feels different nothing is the same your relationships can grow with change and if they do grow with change that means that they're good relationships if your relationships fall apart because things change then that means that they weren't really your friend because their friendship was conditional. And if you love somebody, it should not be conditional. It shouldn't be until this happens or until that happens, we're friends. Yeah, things change, but we can make it work because I love you and I'm happy that you're going through these changes and I wanna go through changes too. So let's just embrace what's happening here. Another question, how about I lost any friends since I got married? Didn't lose any friends when I got married. I was losing, well, when I started dating, I started losing friends. But that was prior to getting married, actually. It was just talking about getting married that caused our friendships to fail. But it's like, it's like as soon as me and Cameron started getting serious, those friendships completely ended, like, all the way. I could tell that those friendships were based on something so not good. Any advice on fake friends? I don't like the word fake. I don't like people saying, oh, your friends are fake, or oh, I have fake friends, like sometimes they're my friends, sometimes they're not. Like, I don't, I don't believe in fake friends. I believe in unstable friendships, friendships that don't have a good foundation, aren't healthy, and friendships that are um, draining, emotionally draining. But I don't believe that there can ever be a fake friendship because at some point you did like that person and that person did like you. Maybe I'm just being too optimistic, I don't know. But I don't believe in fake friends. I believe at some point everybody has a real moment, you know? Um, just because they may be acting or putting on a show for you doesn't mean that they're fake. It just means that they're hiding something. Deeper into that, you'll find out that there's some things that that person is going through that makes them act that way. And hopefully you can help them through it. If you can't, you know, you might wanna back off a little bit. Um, sometimes people do let you down and hurt your feelings. I think that there are people who are hurting and hurting people hurt people. And that's sad. But at the end of the day, they weren't fake. They were just hurt. Sometimes you have to like come to the realization that they're going through something that you may or may not understand. Even if somebody else is a bad friend, doesn't mean that you should be a bad friend too. Just because somebody is fake, doesn't mean that you should be fake back. You have an issue in a relationship, tell them. Like, the best thing to do is talk through your issues. So, that means don't get on Twitter and subtweet them or at them and tell them and everybody else that they fake. Or don't go around telling other people that they're fake. Forgive them for what they did or what they're doing or what they're gonna do. And then two, you need to call or meet up with that person in face-to-face -face person calmly. Do not yell, do not scream, do not cuss. Calmly tell them, hey, you know, I heard or I feel like, you know, and discuss and 
that's pretty much all you can do but it's the best thing to do talking through your issues will save you so much trouble especially when you talk directly to that person i think the worst thing that you can do is go around telling other people about your issue with that person before you actually tell them because then you got everybody else involved so now they looking at that person sideways and now it's just a huge big dramatic mess when all you had to do was talk to that person directly you just have to remember that nobody thinks like you you know what i mean nobody nobody is in your shoes nobody sees the world the way you see it so to just assume that because somebody disappoints you that they did it on purpose or that they're a bad person is a bad way to look at life because Nobody is going to really understand what you're going through and how you feel about something, you know, and there's only so much you can tell them or show them for them to understand. We can't just sit up and say that, that you know, don't trust anybody, don't love anybody, don't try to understand or figure out people because they're never going to get you. And that's the way I used to look at life. And that's why so many of my relationships failed. My friendships failed because I'm an introvert with friends and stuff like that because I don't talk to them about my problems. Um, so many of my friendships have been temporary and a lot of it is my fault um, but some of it wasn't but a lot of it is because I don't let people get to me. I have a guard that's always up and I stay in my shell all the time but a lot of other people do that too and so that's what causes friction a lot and that's why people think oh well you're fake because you know one day you said this and then the other day you were acting like this. Well some people bottle stuff in and sometimes it just comes out randomly and they're like oh my god who are you? Where's this coming from? But they could have said it a long time ago and solved all those issues, but they didn't. I hope that made sense. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm not making sense, just tell me in the comments. Yeah, I think I'm done with my makeup. I suck. Like, I really do suck at doing makeup because I always wear the same stuff all the time. Like, it's not even funny. I'm going to be trying to do as many videos as I possibly can before the holidays are up. I need to get all these videos up as quickly as I possibly can, guys. So I'm going to be filming like three videos and I'm sorry if I look the same in every single one, but I need to get these videos up because I'm trying to get this money. Um, oh, before I go, I do want to talk about something. While I'm at home, I try to figure out the best ways to make money. Um, I told you about Ebates. I've told you about uh, feature points. So you may have heard of it but from other YouTubers. It's a site called Opinion Outpost where you can take surveys and get money. You just sign up and you can take surveys about anything um, companies just want to know your opinion on stuff and once you take those surveys then you can redeem your rewards um like amazon gift cards itunes gift cards you can just get cash if you just want some some chump change all you have to do is just sign up for it it's free and every time you take a survey your name gets entered into a drawing and they do quarterly ten thousand dollar prize drawings i love stuff like this because i can use like itunes gift cards and stuff to buy money and stuff for my sims don't judge me i sound really crazy talking about my sims like they're my children but they are my children i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i hope that it was helpful i hope that you guys like my vicky vibes still and if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about i will talk about them and yeah so let me get on to these other videos that i need to make okay ciao